Hello, Soul Family. I love you all and hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. Um, today I'm going to discuss the fact that what most people believe about God and the devil is not true. And the fact that God and the devil are one and the same being. They are two sides of the same coin. So, I love this little saying that's talking about God and states uh, that each of the letters are connected to the uh, what the energy of the Creator does here in this realm. And that's G-O-D for God. And it's generate, order, and destroy. And this is the way that the Creator manifests things within this physical realm. First generating something, then ordering it, and then destroying it in order to create things anew. Birth, death, and rebirth. This is the, the order and the way that the Creator actually creates. I'm going to go ahead and show you something. This is called the Tree of Life. The Kabbalistic Tree of Life. And I'm going to do a quick little explanation of why God and the Devil are the same entity. So up here in Kether, we have the Creator manifesting through this Sephira in divine union. This is it fully connected and all one. This is back when it's still in a state of full unification. As it moves down the tree, it creates a masculine force. So the first Sephira is actually masculine. That's why it has this phallus looking symbol. And that is force. In the next Sephira, it creates form, which is the divine mother, magnetism things coming together. This is things going apart and expanding. This is electricity and magnetism. Now here is where you get the differences in the devil and God idea. So from Bina down here to Chesed, this is what most people think of as God. The loving, abundant, you know, peaceful, happy God. This is what most people consider the devil. This is Geburah. This is the destroyer. It's connected to Mars, God of War, um, dissolving things. Uh, metabolism and ketabolism, I believe is what it's called, uh, is like the difference. This one right here is connected to Jupiter, Chesed, which that's the planet of abundance, bringing things in, uh, making things manifest, uh, bringing them together. Uh, this is dissolving things, taking things away, pushing things out, removing stuff. And here in Tipperith, the Christ Center, this is where they unify and become one. But this is basically why there is even an idea of in, within this dualistic realm of God and devil. But they're actually two expressions of the same entity. And that's why you have God and Goddess is because the masculine and feminine energy of the Creator are actually manifesting through force and form. Once you get down, you know, they say there's nothing new under the sun. So the moon, Venus, and Mercury are within the astral triad. This is the supernal triad. This is the ethical triad, which is connected to like emotions and just energy then you have the astral triad which connects to the astral realm this is left brain uh, in, uh intellectual um magic is all here learning uh anything that has to do with that left brain thinking and then this is like your right brain the creative mind art expression music dance the divine mother um but these are both androgynous beings actually so, uh, and then you have the moon, which is the combining of these two within the astral triad. And then you have the earth kingdom, which is, um, Asaluth, Bria, uh, Yetzera, and then Asia, the four different worlds of the Kabbalah. But that's why that people think that the God and the devil are one and the same, or I mean are different. They are actually one and the same. Um, I think that's about it for this one. But basically, we are uh, 
we are a part of God. We are the God actually expressing itself and being able to understand itself subjectively. Since it is one entity and it knows all, this is the way that God learns about itself and is experiencing itself. It manifests through all these. Every piece of life that's within this realm is a part of God. And, um, you know, it, uh, we are aspect. We are like mini-me's of God. But yeah, that's, uh, that's basically it. I just wanted to explain how God and the devil are just one and the same. Um, and the generate, order, and destroy explains the different aspects of God. Um, but that's, that's basically it. The expressions of source, how that it expresses, and how people think that it's multiple entities fighting against each other. But actually, it's just one and the same. I love you all. Peace.